Hey y'all, we are at my daughter and son in love's house where they're having a pool party for Memorial Day. So here's the chef. Hey y'all. This is Brian. This is Brian. Good to meet you. We're going to cook uh, some hibachi for Memorial Day weekend. Not quite as traditional as hamburgers and hot dogs, but we're going to do uh, hibachi and I pre-cooked most everything. Uh, pretty much everything. Last night I went ahead and cooked my rice and put it in the refrigerator overnight. We've got our broccoli, we got onions, uh, we got steak, chicken, shrimp, and vegetables already pre cut. Everything's ready to go on the griddle. We've got soy sauce, we've got our uh, olive oil, and uh, just a little bit of seasoning. Grill's already, the griddle's already heated up and ready to go. So we're going to get started. Okay, the griddle is already pre seasoned, the oil is baked into the griddle, but I'm going to add some extra oil before I put the rice on. I'm cooking this in waves because there's so much food to cook. Usually I can cook the rice and the uh, vegetables at the same time, but there's a lot to cook, so I'm gonna do it each uh, section. Okay, the rice is warming up uh, nicely on the griddle. We're gonna add a, uh, never go wrong with too much butter. So we're gonna add uh, a lot of butter right here in the middle. Make sure you get all the lumps out of your rice. Try to pack it out, pat it down, chop it up best you can to get as much of the clumps out where it was in the refrigerator overnight. It is always best to pre-cook your rice the, the, at least a few hours before to give it time to chill. Most, uh, the best, it's best to put it in the night before in the refrigerator. The butter's melting nicely. Now we're gonna add three eggs. You can use as many eggs as you want to preference. I just put it right in the rice and then stir it in. I am cooking today on a, uh, I think it's 36 inch Blackstone griddle. I love it. Great for cooking hibachi, uh, smash burgers, uh, breakfast especially. You can cook a ton of bacon or sausage. Pancakes are great to cook on here, fried eggs. There's not much you cannot cook on a Blackstone. So uh, if you don't have one, put that on your Christmas list. Yeah. The rice is getting good coloration. It's starting to brown up a little bit. Don't want to burn it. Make sure you keep flipping it brown, but not, not blacking. Uh, we're getting close to finish with the rice, and I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce just to add a little flavor to it now. And then con just continue flipping it. Is almost finished so we're gonna go ahead and prep for the uh, for the vegetables we have tons of mushrooms zucchini wash ready to go in and a bag of broccoli so I'm gonna put a little bit of oil over here flipping your rice so it don't burn. The vegetables will be fine. Okay, normally we cook everything at one time, but like I said, there's a large, large amount today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rice off. It's done, put it in a container, keep it warm until everything else is ready.
Okay, and of course, it's butter time. Add a little bit of uh, butter to your vegetables. A little bit of oil, keep it from, to flavor it up, make it cook a little better. I got a handy little uh, part for uh, Blackstone. It is uh, to cover the, you can cover your vegetables to, to steam them, help them cook a little quicker. I've got a little bit of seasoning that I'm gonna add to the vegetables. It's Kinder's Blend. It's salt, pepper, and garlic uh, blended together. Okay, they're steaming up real nicely. We're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to the vegetables now. Okay, we're gonna um, cook our uh, little, little bit of onions over here in the corner. We don't wanna mix them with our vegetables because Sweet Hunter does not like onions. And Big Sis does not like onions. So we're gonna cook a little bit over here in the corner just so we don't get them blended in with our regular vegetables. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil over here in the corner for the onions. I pre-cut the onions last night. Go ahead and throw a little bit of butter and soy sauce on them. I've even got their own little spatula. So Sweet Hunter, AKA Pops, don't uh, get any onion taste in his, uh, in his vegetables. All right, let's flip these again. Vegetables are almost ready. Okay, let's stir our onions up a little bit. Vegetables are ready. And we're gonna take them off and we'll flip them one more time and then go ahead and take them off the griddle. Y'all should smell this. Okay, the onions are looking really good. Uh, they're, I'm gonna keep them on here. They're not burning. They're just staying warm and seasoned. So I'm gonna keep them over here in the corner. Not that I need to, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil. Make sure it don't stick at all. This is New York Strips from Costco. It is pre-seasoned with uh, salt, pepper, and garlic. I have some huge, huge uh, New York Strips. I fillet them and then I cut them into chunks. I add just a little bit of butter in here, get a little extra flavoring. Can't go wrong with butter. Never. And just a hint of soy. Okay, the steaks are cooking, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the onions. I'm going to put them right here in the middle just for a second. They look delicious. They smell delicious. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the onions. 
Okay, the uh, steak is looking really good. We like our steak medium, medium well, medium rare. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the steak. It's brown on the outside with just a little bit of pink left on the inside. All right, we are done with our steak. We got everything off now. We're going to uh, cook us a little bit of shrimp. So we're going to put just a little bit of oil right here in the middle. We got our shrimp uh, detailed and deshelled. So. These were frozen shrimp out of a bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover them and steam them just for a minute, help them thaw quicker. All right, the shrimp. Oh yeah. I'm gonna throw a little extra, a little butter on the shrimp. A lot extra soy sauce. Okay, the shrimp is done and it is ready to pull off. Looks delicious. Mm. My bowls keep getting smaller and smaller. Normally I'll cook uh, vegetables here, rice over here, and my meat's in the middle. But since there's such a large quantity that I was having to cook, I separated right. everything. Right. And there's the shrimp. Looks very good. I like cooking the chicken last, just to avoid cross-contamination with uh, salmonella poison or anything like that. Uh, and chicken's probably got the most bacteria out of all of them. So I want to cook it last after my shrimp and my steak and everything else, cook that chicken last. And once again, I pre-cut all my chicken into chunks last night. That is six chicken breast. Add just a little bit of soy sauce to the chicken and a little bit of the salt, pepper, and garlic to the chicken. I like to spread the chicken out so it can cook completely on one side. And then I'll flip it. Chicken's looking good. I'm gonna turn it again. is done and we are going to pull it out put it in a bowl and it looks delicious as well make sure you get your chicken good and done you don't want anybody to get it. i got it oh what is this it's, it's a picture of fireflies coming out of the jar look at this fireflies oh. coming out of the jar and it's a ball jar look he knows you well and did you do this Nah, my teacher wrote that, but I did the painting. You did the painting, but your teacher just wrote the letters. Did you actually outline the drawing? No, nah, my teacher did that. Oh, too. okay, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love that. You know me well, don't you? <laughs> okay, everybody, we are complete with our hibachi. Like I said, usually it's all mixed together, and uh, but with such large amounts, we separated everything. Here's our rice, our stir fry. We got our broccoli, mushrooms, uh, squash, and zucchini, our onions, our shrimp, our steak, and our chicken. Well, I 
According to everyone, it is absolutely delicious, and I would have to concur with that decision. It is outstanding. It is good. Delicious. Very good. Had to dock it. It was delicious. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Oh, it's delicious. It is great. Delicious. You did a really good job. Hedy, do you like it? 10 out of 10. Good. That's as good as Fuji. It really Happy Memorial Day, y'all go cook something.